Hi, Laura Simon from the U.S. Junior National Team here just to check in with our coxswains and see how their spring racing is going. We're starting to get a lot of audio from coxswains from all over the country and I just wanted to review a couple tips that make for really successful audio. One of the first things that we look for is a coxswain that's really in control of their situation and what that sounds like is a coxswain that can actually talk their rovers through important important points in the race, whether it's a big move at the 500 meter mark or a nice clean shift off the start, we're looking for a coxswain that we can understand what they're saying. Oftentimes coxswains think that they need to constantly speak in the rhythm of the boat, catch, send, catch, send, catch, send. And what happens is we actually end up using that as filler. It's we, we go to that catch then, catch then, catch then, when we don't really know what else to say. And so what happens is we start interjecting a lot of what we call filler into what could be really good coxing. So think about using your good, firm, strong coxing voice and using a little bit less of the filler, catch then, catch then, catch then, when you don't know what to say. If you don't know what to say, take five strokes and don't say anything. Take a look at your course, take a look at where your competition is, take a look at your boat speed, whether it's a speed coach or puddle spacing, and then come back to your crew with good information and really try to avoid using that catch, send, catch, send, catch, send, or jump, let swing, jump, swing as your filler when you don't know what to say. Get used to and get comfortable having a little bit of quiet time in your audio. Well, we hope everybody's having a great start to the spring. It's nice to actually be on the water. Most East Coast crews are now. And we look forward to hearing more audio from you this spring and looking forward to a lot of great racing as we head into the end of the spring season.